The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went off to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, off Tiberias, and a large crowd followed him. Impressed by the signs he gave by curing the sick, Jesus climbed the hillside and sat down there with his disciples. It was shortly before the Jewish feast of Passover. Looking up, Jesus saw the crowds approaching and said to Philip, Where can we buy some bread for these people to eat? He only said this to test Philip. He himself knew exactly what he was going to do. Philip answered, 200 denarii would only buy enough to give them a small piece each. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said, There is a small boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what is that between so many? Jesus said to them, Make the people sit down. There was plenty of grass there, and as many as five thousand men sat down. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and gave them out to all who were sitting ready. <clears throat> He then did the same with the fish, giving out as much as he wanted, as was wanted. When they had eaten enough, he said to the disciples, Pick up the pieces left over, so that nothing gets wasted. So they picked, up, picked them up and filled twelve hampers with scraps left over from the meal of five barley loaves. The people, seeing this sign that he had given, said, this really is the prophet who is to come into the world. Jesus, who could see they were about to come and take him by force and make him king, escaped back to the hills by himself. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear sisters and brothers, this gospel passage all of you are familiar with. Many times you have heard, 5,000 men sat down. So the scripture tells us it could be more than 5,000. It is only men counted here. Not women and children were not accounted for in the scripture today. So there could be more people. <coughs> now, Jesus saying, you know, so many people here, how to give them food? How? How to give them? So he turns to Philip and says, Philip, can you look around and see how we can help them? And Philip says, with 200 denarii, we can only few, feed a few. You know, sometimes you visualize, even in our church, during the feast, sometimes food run out. And so some people go without food. So it's Jesus, with all his love and compassion, he doesn't want them to go empty. And so, there comes Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, and says, Lord, there is this boy here. There's a boy here who has got five barley loaves and two fish. What can five barley loaves and two fish do with so many thousands of people? Obviously, Jesus knew what he's going to do. Now imagine you are seated there and someone coming and asking you for your, your barley loaves and the two fish. Someone say, can you give me your barley loaves and two fish? What would you do? Will you give, readily give? Will you readily give? Howla, I got, maybe the Lord is going to speak to three, three hours. I need it for myself. <clears throat> but he readily gave. He readily gave. And dear sisters and brothers, the name of the boy was not given. It's not given here. Now that boy is likened to you. You are seated here. You are that boy, let's say. <clears throat> the boy gave without any questions. He just gave away all that he had. A little boy, five years old, goes to his mother and says, Mama, I love you. And the mother says, I love you too, son. I love you too. 
A 16-year-old boy goes to the mother and tells the mother, Mommy, I love you. And the mother says, How much money you want? And a 25-year-old boy goes to the same guy, the same boy, as he goes 25 years old, he goes to the mother and asks, says the, tells the mother, Ma, I love you. <clears throat> this time mother says, Who is the girl? <laughs> Tell me who is the girl. And at 40 years old, he goes to the mother and tells her, Mother, I love you. And mother replies, I have always told you she's not the right girl. You never listened. <laughs> and at 60, the boy goes to the mother and tells the mother, Ma, I love you. And the mother says, Don't ask me to sign any papers. <clears throat> Even in our love relationships, we do it with expectations. We want something in return. Only the five years old, when he said, Mommy, I love you, the mother replied, I love you too, my son. That is why Jesus said, be like little children. <clears throat> when you give, do not expect. <clears throat> that moment in that episode in the gospel, <clears throat> there was a crisis. The crisis is the people lacked food. And so this boy rose to the occasion to give all he had generously. Dear sisters and brothers, even in your home, there may be a crisis sometimes. It could be financial crisis, it could be some crisis. Even in your workplace, even in the church, now we are going to build uh, new buildings and already the ones that are going to be renovated, one has already started. And <clears throat> I am coming and soliciting money from you. Father always asking money, not for myself, but for the people, for you. And how generous am I? Not just in terms of money, money not monetary uh, aspect only. You have the capacity to smile. If I lie, smile at Janisha, Janisha smiles at me or not, doesn't matter. I will still smile, believing that she will respond to me. If I wave at you, you may wave and you may not wave, doesn't matter, I will still wave at you. <clears throat> you have so much, you have so much inside you that you can give. But how much have I given? From the first C, Contribution is a second C. Crisis to contribution. In crisis, someone needs you. How much have you contributed? Your energy, your time, your strength, your talents, the gifts you have got, including your money, whatever. <clears throat> Sometimes they say the ones who have much more, they find it so difficult to give. The ones who have little, they want to give, they cannot give. They are not able to give. So dear sisters and brothers, Psalm 66, Psalm 66 tells us, count your blessings. The third C, count your blessings. Can you count your blessings? You know how many blessings you have received? Every single breath that you receive every single day, millions and trillions of breath that you have taken from the day you were born right until today. If you were to thank for all the breaths that you have got, you won't have enough time to count. But you have been blessed so much, so much you are blessed with. Have you thanked him enough? Count your blessings, Psalm 66 tells us. So dear sisters and brothers, when there is a crisis, contribute. And when you contribute, he will bless you abundantly, abundantly. And don't just count your blessings. Be that blessing. Be that blessing. Why sometimes we find difficult to count our blessings and to become that blessing? <coughs> you know, when you drink soup, when you have soup, there's coriander or there'll be some basil leaves in the soup and you, as you drink, as you sip your soup, the leaves may get stuck in between your teeth 
or even when you take a barbecued corn the corn seed the, the fiber may get stuck in your teeth or a mango these are famous things that you get stuck in your teeth you know have you experienced that sure all of us have experienced that so what you do you will put your tongue there and you will do like this if you don't get a toothpick lah of course if you got a toothpick then you will look for a toothpick and you use the toothpick now there are 32 teeth lined up there but our focus is only on one that is there is got stuck there so dear sisters and brothers we get stuck in that one problem we get that stuck in that one issue and then we forget that whole crisis that we need to attend to that we need to contribute that we need to give that we need to bless the other and so dear sisters and brothers let us not get stuck in issues and problems let us be generous in giving like the little boy who was expecting much more each time each age of each phase of his life he was asking something from his mother so dear sisters and brothers if the lord has blessed you so much even financially don't be concerned about raising your standard of living be focused in raising your standard of giving not just your standard of living but raise your standard of giving giving in any way you have the capacity while we are alive let us give because you are created on this planet earth for that one sole purpose to give you know when you receive when you receive don't be just get us be give us when you receive you receive so many breaths give so many breaths care so many breaths live so many breaths give so many breaths every time do this dear sisters and brothers the lord will bless you abundantly take care to enjoy this life that he has given you and don't stingy in giving even a smile to someone even a wave to someone you are you have the capacity to give the lord bless you the lord loves you he loves you so much that you can love him only so much but you can give all that you can give love him more and more love each other god bless you amen